Hey everyone, Dennis Martin with Enstrom Helicopter here. Welcome back to another episode of Inside Enstrom. And today we are going to be showing you a really neat new feature of the 480B, and that is the Genesis Autopilot. I know we have been teasing this system for a long time, but uh, here it is. So we've got the alt tool on, got the nav mode set, and as you can see, I'm not doing anything. The Autopilot is flying the helicopter, it's flying it beautifully. It's it's kind of a gusty day today, and the helicopter's holding altitude just fine, hold, holding heading. Really reduces the workload on those long trips. This is a three-axis system, so it's not only controlling uh, pitch and roll, but it's also controlling off. So it uh, holds the pedals for us, so I don't need to keep my feet on the pedals. It's hard to describe how much of a game changer this is for uh, Enstrom pilots and Enstrom operators, especially people who take the helicopter on long trips. It makes a real difference in fatigue, which of course then makes a real difference in safety. In fact, when we were bringing this helicopter back from Texas, uh, where they did the initial installation, our ferry pilot, uh, Bayard Dupont, he was able to make the trip in one day, and he said that, you know, that last leg, he normally wouldn't have done it. But because the autopilot had reduced the workload so much, he felt good, he, he wasn't tired, and he was able to push through that last leg. And so, really a game changer. And we're just so excited to, to be bringing this to our customers. We worked really hard to make sure that, you know, this would be available both as a forward fit application, but as a retrofit application as well. So if you currently own a 480 series helicopter, you'd like to equip it with an autopilot that will be available. It does require an interface with the Aspen for those legacy customers. For uh, new aircraft buyers, uh, you'll be able to get the autopilot uh, right from the factory. Um, and it will be interfaced with the G500 system that we'll be installing in the new aircraft. We feel the safety benefits of this system are, are just so important that we wanted to make this available to all of our customers. So one of the really unique features of the autopilot is that it has an auto recover mode or uh, auto level mode. So if you were to get disoriented and the aircraft uh, got out of shape, uh, you can hit the SAS button and it will recover the aircraft. So, so we'll put the aircraft into a little bit of an unusual attitude here and we'll hit this uh, SAS button and see what it does. And you can see I'm not doing anything and it uh, automatically recovered the helicopter. And uh, Genesis actually told me a story about a, a local pilot, uh, the autopilot leveled the aircraft and, and uh, he admits it saved his life. You know, this is something uh, that, that can catch out even experienced pilots and having that safety feature here, you know, adds a lot of confidence to uh, some of those night operations or low visibility operations. So right now I have the autopilot in speed mode and uh, that's going to allow me to climb up but it'll hold uh, that airspeed that we bugged which was right around 95 knots. If I just pull a little bit more power the helicopter will start to climb and as we come up on 2300 feet this is our uh, entry into the approach. I'm just going to hit altitude it's going to capture that altitude and you see it's pitching the nose down here and we'll reduce our power a little bit to more of a cruise setting. Grab about 100 knots. Enstrom helicopters have fully mechanical flight controls. We don't use hydraulic boost. And so we use a trim system, similar to what you have in an airplane. So the autopilot actually has the built-in functionality to uh, run that trim. And we'll see when we get to the bottom end of the approach. It's great because when you punch the autopilot off, the helicopter's in trim. So we are coming up onto the initial approach fix for the uh, RNAV-21 here at Menominee. You can see the helicopter's uh, turning us onto course. Uh, taking some roll steering commands from the uh, the Garmin here, and the autopilot is just going to flash uh, right down the course. You wouldn't know it, but it's a fairly bumpy day up here today, and the autopilot's just doing a phenomenal job uh, keeping the helicopter smooth and level. And we actually have a 30-knot uh, crosswind right now uh, from the right, which would be from the south. And you can see how much crab angle we have in a, the HSI here, and the autopilot is just keeping us right on course. So now that we're established on the course, we can go ahead and arm our glide slope. And as we cross the final approach fix, uh, we were right on altitude, and the autopilot has grabbed the glide path. You can see it's pitched the nose over, and it's now flying uh, both the lateral and vertical guidance on this RNAV. And it's going to take us right down to our decision height, which here is a, on this approach is 400 feet. 
But at this point, all I'm doing is controlling our airspeed with the collective. So uh, in order to keep our airspeed around uh, 90, 95 knots, I just adjust the power of the helicopter and the autopilot does the rest. I hope it's coming through the camera. It's hard to describe unless you're in the seat, but this thing is on a rail. This autopilot is just flying a dead on perfect approach. It is perfectly on glide path, perfectly on the localizer. At our decision height here, I'm gonna punch the autopilot off and we are perfectly in trim. We could take this right down to the numbers. That is so impressive, I mean, what a great approach. I mean, it just flew that thing certainly better than I could have flown it by hand. Really impressive piece of equipment. So thank you all for flying with me today. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the new autopilot. Uh, we're really excited about this option, as you can tell, and we look forward to rolling it out to our customers. It should be available soon. We're just finishing up some final details on it. Uh, we'll be uh, providing more information uh, at the uh, VAI show. But in the meantime, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at Enstrom. And as always, you know, please check out EnstromHelicopter.com. Check out our Facebook page, our YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time on Inside Enstrom.